And here we have one more question for San Francisco Shock and their fans. Do you believe in magic? It's time to find out as Coliseo may well be our final battleground in this series unless the Shock have it in them to turn the tides. This first fight is so important. I mean, it always is on push, but to find yourselves down 3-0, all the momentum on the Dallas Fuel side, to see them get significant barrier progress here off the rip, that's tough. A tentative neutral to start this map. I mean, everybody knows how important this is, right? Suffocating the stakes can sometimes be. There's a little bit of contact on that left-hand side here as Harmbin and Sparkle are starting to think about advancing. Having your Junker Queen out here is quite a threatening posturing, to be fair. Barricade on the move, San Francisco make the first play towards the objective. Kilo's pretty deep in enemy territory here. Needs to forget about the last couple of maps. But Edison's picking up where he left off. Yeah, and he gets a first pick on the Violet there. As Violet just trying to play aggressive, form up those sound barriers. As Proper will get one and a little bit of an exit. But look at this, they're so split here for the shock. Is oh, I mean, he's That's dead. ugly. Yeah. Dallas very quickly assert themselves here once more. Up to 20 meters now. Violet playing awful close to them here. You feel like there's some risk associated with his positioning and Proper also is extremely low. There's no healers on the map right now. Kilo, Kilo's in deep trouble. What is he doing oh, here? What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, he is really deep behind as, uh, maybe players going back to be able to pick him up. Allows you to hold a little bit, but now you're not gonna have your sojourn for this fight. Proper. Almost getting caught there himself. Dallas are on the march. They're more than happy to play from this low ground here. They didn't disengage to play back in the neutral because they knew that Finn, or rather Kilo, was a long way away from the rest of his team. Here it is, though. Great response. Okay. Edison not in a great spot to intervene in that fight. Kalouz is able to get rid of Hanbin. It's such an important matchup here. A good start for the towering giant in the Shock's front line. Yeah, and you see the barrier start to move the other way now in favor of the Shock. So you got your blade, you got your sound barrier already you invest into this fight. You want to really try and make a push for that checkpoint. Here come the shock, able to turn that around. A key couple of kills to set themselves up. But there has to be an investment here. There has to be some risk taken by San Francisco if they want to make the first move. Edison always dangerous, always probing. Big damage on the Dallas Fuel though. They take a licking in the front line, so it's gonna be a rally from Fielder. Here's Sparkle's Blade. Cold Steel drawn. Trying to find the back line here, and it gets rid of Kaluz. That sound barrier was there, but perhaps just not enough. And in the fight, the San Francisco Shock cannot find an equalizer. They're getting blown out. And that's massive. The sound barrier comes down, and you still find the Junker Queen on the other side. If Kaluz is able to live through that with all that survivability, you think he's going to be able to get a Rampage. And look at this, the Shock invests so much into that fight. You come back, you got Rampage and Overclock here for the fuel. You may be able to get this first checkpoint. Heading under the bridge we go, Rampage there from Harvin. He's yelling at his team, he caught Violet and Proper with that one. Both of them seem to be able to back away. That anti-heal has expired, but the bot lumbers on. Here we go, another fight inside the small room. Last time it looked good for the Shock this time. Not too shabby either, Proper finds three. He'll play around the bot, he'll dare Sparkle to challenge him. The latter thinks better of it. Hanbin's still alive as well. Woo! Oh, nice long range there. Is Six and one. Hanbin able to make it back to his team. It's a little bit more progress there from the, sh uh, the fuel, but not a lot. As you know, look at this, you can't even fight this to be the Shock. You gotta back up because the rest of the team Still coming off Spark. They maybe don't realize that Spark was not there. San Francisco choose to disengage, even though the Dallas Fuel, they posture aggressively with just four players. Maybe implying the presence of Sparkle, but he was still coming off Spawn. Here's the slide in. Oh, they want some of this. Collusion Harmbin. Fisty cuffs in the front line, but Collusion's only got eyes for the objective right now. But they leave Kilo on an island again. He's neutralized. Predictive axe swing, no connection there. Grim look on the face of Kalujas. He knows it's going to take more than that to win this fight. Again, it's going to be proper coming alive, but how much can one player do? 
Nice axe swing there. That's really going to hurt Fielder. He's forced it back right on up. Every inch fought for with blood by the shock, but they're yet to equalize in distance. It's another one from Proper. He's eight and one. Eight of nine final blows on his team. That's astonishing. But it's not enough. You just cannot get it done that way in this type of meta. You just cannot leave Kalo out on island, no help, and let him just get taken out by the opposing team's Genji, giving you a you know a player advantage like every single fight. It's just not going to work out that way as the shock get close to matching the push of the fuel, but not good enough as Sparkle with a blade here. Seen he's been so good with them throughout the series. Last time he was able to find collusion with it, even through the sound barrier. Oh no, proper! That is bad. The chase is on, they're looking for Violet here. He has a sound barrier. I think the fuel have tracked that ultimate as well. Did proper expect like either the rally or the barrier to come in to keep him alive? Because like just playing so far up with nothing to use there is uh, it's starting to fall apart here for San Francisco. This is going to be the checkpoint for the fuel. Sixty-six meters plays thirty-seven. What was a fair fight is now blowing out into a full-scale extinction event. Is there anything left for the shock? Now's the time to show it. Violet's down in the front line there. No chance for a beat again. It's all falling apart. Proper removed by Sparkle, and it's all Dallas all the time. Always was. 3.25 to play with the shock are being evicted. And when do you have a good time to use these support ultimates if you're the shock? You're fighting at a player down all of the time, it feels like. That time they get aggressive, they get right in the support's face, and they're not able to keep them alive. And there's you use the blade, and it doesn't even come up with anything. I mean, the remnants of a sound barrier are there. It doesn't matter. Huge damage. It's unreal how much damage the shock just took in the front line. Finn desperately trying to patch him up now with a rally. But when that overshield expires, it could be dangerous. Somehow, San Francisco are able to get three kills. While well, having lost most of the HP in the first few seconds, it took everything to keep them alive there, though. Everything! Yeah, in 2 minutes 46 seconds on the clock, you're looking at three fights in a row, specifically because they need that checkpoint. They don't have the checkpoint like the Dallas Fuel do. The thing that's brutal about these types of scenarios and push is that if the Shock lose one of these fights, the robot moves pretty fast towards the barrier of the Dallas Fuel, and it's so deep in Shock territory that you're never really making any progress. You have to win consecutive fights here for the Shock. They're struggling to put even single ones together here. That's a fantastic rampage. Catching harm in all that damage. It's good, but Chihu and Fielder are still there. Even when they start the fight in ideal circumstances, the Shock can't finish them. Kaluj realizes he is all on his own. No rampage. Man, that's got to no be... Health. That has to be so frustrating for Kaluj because he plays that fight you know, just about as good as you can. And, you know, he hits a good rampage. He's able to put some big damage down on a few players. He turns around, the rest of his team's dead. Uh, no thing he can do in that type of scenario. Look at this, you're moving the bot all the way back from your territory, back to the same spot we just fought that last fight. So the shot not really gaining much of anything here. Running for Fielder, Dallas. Looks like they're done playing with their food. That's right. Kilo chewed up, spat out, boot off stage. Then the rest of the fuel just continue to roll. The barrier is pretty darn far forward here. Front spawn has been achieved. Edison riddling the shock with holes. And how do you even fight this, man? Because we talk about how many fights they need to win in a row. You can't use all of your ultimates. I mean, you don't have any, but you can't use them if you did to get out of this point of the map. It's almost like the fuel are baiting them in, right? They want them to come in. They want them to use some of these ults. You have this Chio sound barrier to use. And here it comes. And here the Dallas fuel don't want to spend too much more ultimate wise here. They know they don't have to. Oh, this is out of hand. 112 meters and counting. The San Francisco shock beaten, battered, bruised. 35 seconds left here. The shock would have to win this fight. And every single one after that. And this one's not a given. Here's the overclock from Edison. Trying to put the final nail in the coffin, but Proper wants to keep his team alive. It has to be a brilliant moment from that man. One kill is enough. But the Shock have much more work to do. I mean, 
You are, this is the largest mountain to climb. You have not gotten the checkpoint thus far. You need to win every single fight from here on out. You're behind by almost 100 meters. This is going to be hard. Finn with the rally. Sparkle goes in the blade. Could be the end of here. Violet is down and we're in overtime. Four players left for the San Francisco Shock and they're dropping like flies. Sparkle's blade fights purchase and Harbin cleans off Kalouz here in the frigid north it's all comers the Dallas Fuel extinguished the competition take a bow your summer showdown champions